And that's why I can say Joseph is a light to all of us. Because Joseph shows us things that sometimes we ignore. Notice what he did. Joseph refused to just passively say no privately. He refused. He wanted to talk directly to her. Secondly, he refused repeated opportunities. How many times can you say no? The Bible said in verse 10, so it was that she spoke to Joseph how often? Day by day. Some things are temporary. You're going to have to learn how to be tempted all the time. You're going to have to learn how to manage temptation when it comes at you Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday. And starts all over again on Monday. There's something about being really clear that this is an ongoing challenge. And it doesn't mean that you know, you're bad. It doesn't mean it just, it's just part of how you're wired. As a matter of fact, let me just say this to you. The reason it's, it's a temptation for you is because you're wired to be sexual. God put the wiring in there. So, well, that wasn't fair. No, it is. Because God, God defines it as a wonderful experience and a wonderful gift. It's a gift from God. The problem is you abuse it. And you, you, you create something that God never intended for you to create. This guy refused repeated opportunities, repeated chances. He said no. And then, even if it cost him his freedom, he refused. Matter of fact, his refusal led to imprisonment. Notice what happened It was in verse, uh, verse 11, under number 2 in your notes. It happened after about this time when Joseph went to, his, to the house to do his work. And none of the men, do you see that? None of the men was inside. This is verse 11 of chapter 39. None of the men were inside. She gave everybody the day off. She got tired of waiting. She said, listen, today is the day. It's over, dude. Today is the day. And she's all riled up and she, she, the Bible said that she grabbed him by his arm. She caught him, verse 12, by his garment. Not, not, she didn't grab him by his arm, she grabbed him by his clothes. Might have been trying to take him off. Come here. She grabs him and said, lie with me. You know, she, she ain't got no tact. She just say stuff. She just, <laughs> and so what the Bible says he did was incredible. He left his garment. He said, I don't care what you say. No, I'm not doing that. That's a sin against God, your, against your husband. I'm not doing that. And so she flips it and says to everybody, he tried to assault me. He, this is amazing. He, he, has, he has tried to assault me, so they put him in prison for years. In this moment, you see something that's profound. This is a guy who said, I'm not, I'm not willing to give up my boundaries no matter what. He had firm boundaries. If I lose my job, if I lose this opportunity, if I have to go to prison, I will not do this. That's a strong conviction. 